morning all. I'm driving home, got about 50 miles to go back to my house and I am wearing my sushi hoodie in the car on the way home because you would, you would you even recognise me now if I didn't have it on? Um, Susie didn't sleep great, but I've left her now to sleep. It's about half eight on Saturday morning. And if I leave now, hopefully she can get, uh, I mean, her face is grimaced in pain when I look over, you know, when we're just watching telly, her eyes are shut. But if, if I... I don't sit still, so if, if I can leave now and she can get a few hours in before they check into the hotel, I think they can check in at three, then uh, she needs that rest, really. Um, I've left some long-lasting natural treats for Pepper that they can take with them, keep her occupied, and to calm her little crazy bum down a little bit. And I put a post on YouTube and you said, even if I'm not with Suze, you want to still see my face so I don't know what I'll film today it could be as exciting as me going home and plucking my my beard maybe that's as exciting as it might get I'm only kidding but um yeah I'm gonna drive home can't wait to see my babies and Ash but can't wait to see my babies and yeah, have a have a chilled weekend at home. I have my hospital appointment, a gynaecology appointment on Monday morning at 9am to see. I'm going to ask some testing questions to them. I don't think I'll be able to film anything, even covertly, but wait and see. If I can, I, I will try. But, you know, I want to ask them how two sonographers misdiagnosed me saying I had two fibroids um, and then the radiologist, radiologist coming back and saying no it's endometriosis, endometrium again without biopsying it or seeing what it actually is uh, it's not right <laughs> don't diagnose people when you don't when you don't know what it is if you're just guessing don't guess please we need we need to teach them that it's not good enough to guess just because you know, the statistics say that it's probably not that. It's, it's not right. So, yeah, I've got that on Monday. I've got to build myself up to that. I mean, Suze has made me so much braver than I ever have been in my 42 years on this earth. I would never have opened my legs to a doctor or, you know, gynaecologist or any anything like that. I haven't got children. And uh, I whip them open now. I'm like, have a look have a look see what's going on down there it doesn't bother me anymore so if any of you are worried to get your smear test or checks or anything like that don't be it is nothing I mean they don't even look really until they're you know until it, there's nothing they can't see anything they're only looking at what's inside it's nothing nothing to be worried about so yeah let me dip home and I'll see if I can entertain you all with uh, some beard plucking or something similar. Right guys, I know what I can film for you today. There's a beautiful farm shop near where I live. So I've just got nearer to home and I thought I'd show you around in here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's called Farmer Copley's.
Well, that was a little trip around Farmer Copley's. It's an amazing farm shop near us in Pontefract. And if you're ever over this way or you live here and you've not been, you need to go. It is stunning. The, the food, the little gifts, the toys, everything that they're about is amazing. And I think they have a lodge uh, to stay in as well. Holiday home to stay in on site as well. Um, they do the big pumpkin uh, festival every year. It's a really lovely place. And so I've got a few goodies. I'll show you those when I get in. And I also met the lovely owner, Heather, who is just the most incredible woman. What she's built up and her values and her family. Um, the people in there are also going through it. The staff with their friends and family. Um, but they consoled me last summer when I came in to get Susie a present on my way to, to hers last summer. And I stopped and had a chat with Heather just now. And she's so lovely. She always has the time, you know, to, to have a, a chat with you. So I've got some really lovely stuff. I'm going to zoom home and I'll show you what we've got when we get back. I'm home. And I think someone's going to come see me. Go get it. Hi, darling. Hey, <laughs> baby. <laughs> David, Dave, Dave. <laughs> I love you so much. I missed you. And go inside. Wait for me. I need to unpack the car. I love you, my baby girl. See you in a minute. <laughs> Hello, darling. I'll come and give you a cuddle in a minute, my princess. Is there a little boy here that's missed his mum? Hello, mate. Hello, darling. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? No, oh, I'm just a adorable boy. My adorable boy. Daddy says you were running around with your wee wee tray on top of your head this morning. <laughs> You're a tinker. You're a tinker. I'll come in for cuddles in a minute, darling. Good boy. Good boy, love you. Haven't made too much of a mess, have you, sweetheart? Clever boy. So this is what I got from Farmer Copley's. I got some of the Cartwright and Butler honey with strawberries. That sounds delicious. And look at how cute that jar is. Save that for later. Uh, mini Victoria sandwich. I saw the large ones, then he picked it up and then saw the small one, thank goodness. <laughs> some tomatoes. A uh, steak pie for Ash. A salmon quiche. And a savoury duck, which the lady, Debbie, the lovely Debbie behind the counter explained to me. It's got nothing to do with duck. Um, they used to call it that in the war to make people think that it was posher than pork offcuts. But anyway, it tastes delicious. She gave me a sample. Some grapes and some of the spellbound butterscotch beer, which was on Dragon's Den last night, apparently. So we can try that later. Yum, yum. I've just had this through the post. This is Emma speaking, by the way. I know some of you can't differentiate whether it's me speaking or Susie speaking. What's this? I'll just read this off camera a minute, guys. Hang on. Oh, it's off my best friend, Becca. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you, Becca. What's this? You don't have to send me anything. I have a feeling I might cry. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you made me cry. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> That's these are my best friends, Elise, uh, Becca, Susie, obviously, Kerry, and Bean, Jackie. Oh, thank you so much. I love it so much. Thank you. You'd be forgiven to think that I'm up and dressed, ready to go out on the town. I'm not. I'm going to go downstairs, sit with my husband, watch a film and enjoy some time at home. Thank you for watching.